What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and we gotta talk about the underdog theory and how people like Lil Wayne, Gary V, and even Tiger Woods have used it to their advantage. So first, what inspired this video? Well, let's look at the fact that Lil Wayne is one of the biggest artists of all time. This guy was killing the game in the early 2000s, no competition. But oddly enough, to be as big as he is, when the Carter Five dropped, this guy was looked at as an underdog. Most people get that big and they're overrated and people get tired of them. They, are, they've been winning, they've been winning. People could care less if you win again. That's just a day's work for you. But then Lil Wayne had them issues with Baby and he couldn't get his business together. There was all this suing going back and forth and the project got delayed about three years at least. Lil Wayne kind of got positioned in the public as the person being bullied in this aspect. He couldn't release his own music. That repositioned this man who had been the overdog for so long as an underdog all over again, and people were rooting for him when Carter Five drops. Even people that weren't diehard fans at least just wanted to see him stick the landing. It didn't have to be great, it just needed to not be trash. And then another example is Gary Vee. Many of you probably already know him, but if you don't know, he's a marketing influencer. You can check him out on social media at Gary Vee. And he's also the CEO of VaynerMedia, a company worth over $150 million. He has all kind of investments, do got money. Still, you find it where a lot of people are rooting for him to be successful and to keep going, keep going. First of all, he does humanize himself and he's constantly grinding. He's showing you that he's putting into work and he's helpful for people, but he also uses this positioning as an underdog by projecting this huge vision. What you talking about, Sean? For anybody that watches Gary Vee relatively often, you know the fact that he loves the Jets. And not only does he love the Jets, he wants to buy the Jets one day. And although he's rich as hell, he's not anywhere near in a position to buy the Jets yet. At least that's what he says, I ain't the IRS. And the fact that he's still chasing a goal that's so far away allows people to join him in his journey and to see him as an underdog who could one day become successful overcoming that goal. A giant is still small next to a bigger giant. Of course, another example is Tiger Woods. The man was a beast, just dominating the game for so many years, but then he had one of the most interesting nights of his life, to say the least, and ever since then, the divorce, the public backlash, his injuries has just made his way back to even being able to play golf difficult, and him winning again is just a sight for people to see. The last match he won had people so excited just to see him back, and it was a sight to see. So what's the point of this? I know a lot of people who are on the rise are obviously an underdog. When you see the public the first time, you're going to be the underdog, like Cardi B was an underdog coming from the strip club into the successful Cinderella story. But as you see her up top for more and more time, you will see her positioned as an overdog. She will need a new mountain to climb and to be able to communicate that vision to the public for them to then look at her as an underdog, breaking new barriers. Russ does this with his audience by making himself a rage against the industry. The industry is this big giant, this nebulous giant that isn't necessarily even real, but he creates this enemy of sorts that allows people to rally around him as an underdog against it. Eminem did the same thing back in the day, actually. As a matter of fact, he was a bully for the most part. He was bullying these individuals but still painting them as a part of this grand industry, which was the giant. So once again, how do you position yourself as an underdog? First of all, if you're new to the game, you are an underdog already, but you can make it even stronger if you have a story and communicate that rise, just like Cardi B's story from being from a strip club and they talk, and a lot of people being able to talk about those stories because they knew her in that time and watching her rise to who she is today. And then if you already have a little bit of clout and you've had that for a while, you need to create a new mountain, a bigger mountain from where you are now. In the same way Kanye did hip hop and then he did the fashion industry, he's constantly talking about these bigger grand goals that help those people who are super Kanye stands feel like there's some other place to go and there's a new battle to fight. And of course, I want to know what you guys think. So put the things in your brain in the comments below. And of course, you guys know every Sunday I answer questions on IG. So follow me at Brand Man Sean. And other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.